All right, welcome to today's demonstration with Tigers Consulting. My name is Jarrett Donaldson, and I'm a consultant here on the team. And in today's session, I'm going to show you how to use the feature inside of SAP Business One called Intelligent Forecasting. And for this for this demonstration, what I'm going to do is show you the scenario where I am a procurement team member with OAC Computers, and I've been tasked with putting together a forecast for the next six months for some of our items and then using that forecast um, in, our, in our MRP modeling for knowing how many items I need to procure for the rest of the year. And so without further ado, let's let's jump into SAP Business One here and show you how to do that. So it's found over here in the main menu section under the title MRP and in the module forecasts. And so we can open it up here. First thing you need to remember is I'm starting off in find mode. So I need to go over to add mode. And I'm going to create a new forecast that way I can use it in my MRP later on. And so since it's going to be for quarter three and quarter four of 2017, I'm just going to call it 2017 quarter three and quarter four. And I'll go ahead and use that same code for the name. And then it's going to be from July 1st all the way to the end of the year. And I'm going to have it give me a forecast on a monthly basis. You can go ahead and change that if you needed to to daily, weekly, and monthly. For this, I'm just going to use month. And then once you're satisfied, you come down here to generate forecast. You can always manually do it, uh, but this will let the system automatically do it for you. And you can do the basic forecast, but today we're going to use the intelligent forecasting. So you go ahead and open that up, and it'll bring up this window. And so you can do a lot of things here, and you can select what items you want to do the forecast for by a number of methods, simply by using the item number, uh, by using the item group, by using properties. Um, and even warehouse but for today we're just going to go ahead and do it by a series of items so I'm going to go ahead and do it for this whole entire list here from A1 all the way to C12 um, and I'm going to do the forecast for all of them and then from there you can choose well what what do you want the forecast based on your sales orders your deliveries your AR invoices I'm going to go ahead and use sales orders for now and then from there you can even you can adjust this later and any of this you can adjust later but I want to go back 50 history buckets is what they call them or points on the graph so I'm going to change that to 50 and then once you're satisfied you're going to go ahead and click forecast and it's going to do two things it's going to number one show up all the items here with the numeric forecast for each month uh, out for the next six months but then also give you a graphical view and so you can see down here it shows all of your past historical data points and then also what the future is going to going to tell and I can see right off the bat that something must be wrong here um, because for the last it looks like eight months, man, there's been, been no sales here. So I know that that's incorrect because I remember in our team meetings we've been selling a lot of this item A001. So one of the nice features that you can do here is if you if something's wrong, it's an outlier. You can very simply go ahead and change that by just clicking and dropping it up, and it will affect your forecast. You can see as I'm moving right over here the forecast is changing automatically as I move these points so it's a nice thing of having your outliers because if you had one really big month and don't want to take into account you can go ahead and adjust that and you can see here it's adjusted automatically and another nice thing that you can do is you can change the calculation method so this one's automatically set to select automatically based on what it thinks is best however you have two uh, built-in default ways of doing it here you've got the um, triple exponential smoothing and then the linear regression with damp trend and seasonal adjust. Um, so what it's currently using is my um, TESM is what it shows me the triple exponential smoothing. Um, so we'll go ahead and leave it there for now. But you can see another thing you can do is if you only want your forecast to be based upon a certain period of time you can use this button right here and simply click and drag and relate or drag and pull and it's only going to use the time period of what you have selected. So you can see as I do that, it changes my forecast based upon from those points forward. Um, so really nice um, feature as well when you're putting together that forecast. So once you're satisfied with what, how you've kind of tweaked the system here, and you can keep, you know, keep going on with other items, but once you're satisfied with what the, the forecast is, you can simply do save and close. It's going to take all those numeric values and put them in here for your forecast and so you can then go ahead and save that add it in and then next time you're going to go use your MRP you can reference this uh, forecast and use that in your MRP modeling 
So that concludes our demonstration today. Um, thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for, for more demonstrations and other features of SAP Business One.